Other concerns raised here include the hidden conditions attached by the world financial institutions such as the IMF and the World Bank when giving loans to the African and other developing states. Now with the BRICS Bank in place, the hope is that it would address all those concerns. New bank has been established and I hope this bank is not a, similar as the banks we know. We put a lot of conditionality, so I hope our bank, your bank, would be different. Thank you very much. The BRICS Africa Outrage Dialogue participants also lashed out against the classification of developing countries as upper middle and middle income countries. Such classification, they said, does not consider the realities on the ground, including injustices caused by colonialism. Our people deserve social protection, inclusion, and empowerment. As leaders, we have a responsibility to protect and empower the most vulnerable, to prevent and reduce the risks of poverty. We must also develop programs to empower our women and address our large and vulnerable youth populations. We must enhance their future productive capacities and their ability to contribute to the development of their respective communities this is key to inclusive growth. The new development bank has disbursed loans totaling to 5.1 billion US dollars. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Johannesburg, South Africa.